can we start now Arvindar sir can we start now Ma'am please do and warm welcome to everyone to this webinar on creativity and innovations contemporary issues and challenges i am excited to be here with you today to explore the importance issues challenges in creativity and innovation in this fast paced and constantly changing world i ramandeep assistant professor department of business management gg and imp welcomes you all to this bright and powerful day but before we move to the session it is the culture or of, of our institute to remember god before everything we do or start so let's take up this event by seeking the blessings of almighty with college shabad i request my technical team to kindly play shabad Once again I request my technical team to kindly play the college Nadaro re son jab jaye laro nishche Sahib, let's move ahead. This webinar has been organized under the aegis of Institutions Innovation Council of GGNIMP, under the patronage of Gujramala Khalsa Educational Council, and we are fortunate to have with us our mentors. I express my deep sense of gratitude to our management dignitaries and expert speakers for the day. I welcome Dr. S. P. Singh Ji, President, Gujarala Khalsa Educational Council, and former Vice Chancellor, Guru Nanak Dev University, Amritsar. Sir Dar Harshan Singh Narula, Honorary General Secretary of Gujarala Khalsa Educational Council. Professor Manjit Singh Chabra, Director, G. G. N. I. M. T. And Dr. Parvinder Singh, Principal, G. G. N. I. M. T. I also extend a hearty welcome to our expert speakers for the day Dr Mary Rajamani principal and associate professor David Memorial Institute of Management Hyderabad Dr Martin Dina Karan heads of head of communications IFET College of Engineering Tamil Nadu I also welcome all the participants on Zoom team members of GGN IMT and viewers who are connected to us through Facebook live With this webinar, so many new people from the different parts of India and abroad have joined us today. So I invite all of you for the virtual tour to our college, DGN IMT. I request my technical team to kindly play college video. 
known by the name GGNIMT is one of the leading Vijayawada institutes in the Indian region of Management and Technology and graduate and post graduate degree program National Council a governing body that is well known for its academic excellence and benevolent service to the society the ceaseless efforts and the robust dedication of the entire team of GKEC has led to the establishment of five top notch institutions in the region namely gujrawala gurunanak khalsa college gujrawala gurunanak institute of management and technology gujrawala gurunanak institute of vocational studies gujrawala gurunanak khalsa college of pharmacy and gujrawala gurunanak public school Presently this council is running under the visionary mentorship of Dr S P Singh president of GKEC and former vice chancellor of Guru Nanak Dev University Amritsar and Sardar Gursharan Singh Narula the honorary general secretary of GKEC Professor Manjeet Singh Chhabra is the honorable director and Dr Parvinder Singh is the revered principal of GGNIMT The institute offers BBA BCom honors BCA BSc fashion design and bachelor of hotel management and catering technology at the graduate level while MBA and MCA programs at the post graduate level BSc fashion design is a 3 years degree program plus to pass out students from any stream are eligible to enroll into this course the department of fashion design has the state of the art infrastructure it has all the contemporary resources for the best learning experiences The department organizes frequent guest lectures, workshops and industrial interactions to equip students with the right skill set to embark on successful careers. In order to provide authentic and pragmatic learning approach, the department organizes a grand fashion show every year. Fashion Icons 2019 was one such event that witnessed massive participation from all across India. The mega event was judged by the renowned fashion designers Mrs Rimple and Mr Harpreet Narula. Bachelor of Hotel Management and Catering Technology is a 4 years degree program. Plus to pass out students from any stream are eligible to join this course. The Department of Hotel Management is furnished with ultra modern labs, contemporary kitchens, luxurious guest room and a magnificent restaurant. This course trains the students in the areas of housekeeping, food and beverages, bakery, front office and much more. The department organizes numerous food festivals that give the students the opportunity to exhibit their culinary skills and help them develop their entrepreneurial acumen. Bachelor of Computer Applications is a 3 year degree program open to students of any stream. Students with vocational and diploma in computers can straight away enroll into the second year of the BCA program through the 2 years BCA lateral entry module. Masters of Computer Application is a 2 year post graduation degree. A graduate in computer stream can register for this course. As digital technology becomes ubiquitous in our lives, learning computers becomes not only essential but also rewarding. BBA is a 3 years degree program. plus two students from any stream can join this course bcom honors is also a 3 years degree program open to plus two pass out students of all these streams masters of business administration is a 2 years post graduate degree program graduates in any field can enroll for this course these business management courses are a popular choice amongst the aspiring entrepreneurs business leaders and accounting professionals GGNIMT facilitates adoption of technology enhanced learning optimal utilization of library and wifi provisions to ensure learning that is experiential and collaborative it helps students explore their academic and non academic interest while providing them with a foundation for success both inside and outside of the classroom GGNIMT has an industry endorsed and application based curriculum that emphasizes on problem solving and critical thinking through its hands on learning approach This approach not only enables our students to understand and engage with the topic well but also helps them to get better employment opportunities. We feel that going to college is not only about getting a degree, it is as much about expanding your horizons beyond academics and therefore GGNIMT is not only a place for academics but also a breeding ground for your overall growth. 
Here you would build your personality that you will carry for the rest of your life. We groom you through various activities such as festivals, cultural events, social activities, competitions, athletics, outdoor campaigns and much more. It is said that education is incomplete without sports and therefore GJNIMT gives its students numerous opportunities to indulge into sports such as cricket, badminton, chess, carom and other athletic activities. GJNIMT offers industry interface to its students through industrial visits, internships, workshops, seminars, conclaves and guest lectures that helps in enhancing the practical knowledge and makes the students ready for the corporate world. Participating and winning at IKG PTU Youth Festivals is like a tradition at GJNIMT. We believe in preparing students to excel at every possible opportunity. The institute has an exclusive training and placement cell that works tirelessly to equip students with the right nuances to crack interviews and get placed in their dream jobs. Every year our students bag university positions in the final examinations conducted by IKG PTU. They not only bring laurels for themselves but are also rewarded suitably in form of scholarships. You can get to know more about us through the different social media platforms. I invite you to join the league with the best. For your admission inquiries, call or WhatsApp at 8288-09962. Thank you. Thank you, technical team, for taking our participants to the virtual tour to GGNI. Now, moving toward the session, I request Professor Stinder Jeet Singh, President, Institutions Innovation Council of GGNIMT, to kindly introduce the council to our participants. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, sir, I think you are not audible. Am I audible as well as visible? Thank you, thank you. Uh, my name is, uh, welcome all. My name is Tinder G. Singh and I'm Associate Professor in the Department of Computer Application at GGNIMT. This webinar is conducted under the flagship of Institution Innovation, Innovation Cell, IIC. My job is to explain the activity of IIC and emphasize how it is providing a pioneer role in shaping up the startup culture at national level. So let me share the presentation. Is the presentation visible? Okay. okay. The IAC was set up in, was a program which was initiated in 2008 by the Ministry of Education through MIC in collaboration with the AICT. The specific game was to symmetrically foster, systematically foster the culture of innovation and startup ecosystem at higher educational institutions across India. The program aims to train students and the faculty for higher education, faculty of higher education institution for the various facets of entrepreneurship and startup culture. These includes activities such as ideations, problem solving, proof of concept design thinking, IPR, handling pre-incubation and post-incubation stages of the project. The explicit objective is that the innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystems gets established and stabilized in various higher institution, higher educational institutions across India. So moving on that some of the salient feature of uh, IIC is that it is the first ever national platform which provides a real-time training to students for entrepreneurial and startup ecosystem. Uh, the second thing is that the activities of IST, IIC are scattered all across the years and this have a, a, a long-term effect. One of the salient feature is that it involves a lot of idea sharing in terms of various impact lectures that IIC forces uh, its uh, institutions to go through. Another thing is that ISC recognizes the talents by starting up an eco by providing a status of innovation ambassadors to various talented people. So thereby they can share their ideas across uh, various institutions in India. One inherent advantage is that ISC is that it creates national level innovation repositories where 
the ideas and implementation records are shared at one platform. Of course, all this is free and requires zero capital investment, both at student level as well as the institution level. So the benefits are many, and some of that is that it creates a vibrant ecosystem uh, in institutions. Uh, the higher, higher education institutions is provided a sort of support in going for entrepreneurship and startup culture. Uh, this also helps the institutions in utter rankings. Uh, this uh, invariably develop a better cognitive skills for the students, thereby they will succeed long term in their life. So the growth story of IIC has been phenomenal. I have picked up this chart from their website and uh, uh, in the first year, which was in 2018, they have 965 institutions. And in the last two years, they have enrolled more than 3,700 institutions. Now we have more than 6,500 institutions across the India participating in this movement. This is the, uh, this is the distribution of institutions in various regions of the country. And uh, I'll tell you that uh, the distribution is pretty uniform. We'll show the graphs for that also. Uh, the number of members uh, which IIC have, these are the faculty members, students member, external experts, and trained people, number of people's, uh, number of incubation projects, post incubations, number of IPR cells, and number of startups which have gone under the flagship of IIC. Number of startups which have gone under the flagship of IIC is more than 5,500. So this graph will tell you that IIT, IAC has covered almost all India. Of course, Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu because of IIT Bombay and IIT Chennai uh, is deep blue, which means they have a lot of uh, startups, uh, but other states are also catching up. So now uh, I'll tell you something about IAC at GGNIMT Ludhiana, my parent institutes. The IAC chapter of GGNIMT Ludhiana was formed in October, 2022. The first meeting of the councils were held in November 9, 2022. The council consists of 12 members, which involves seven teachers, one non-teachers, and three students and one external members. As per the mandate of IAC, we can conduct uh, the following activities, uh, which involves uh, sh sharing the success stories of the entrepreneurs, organizing the workshops, seminars, and interactions, with successful people, networking with peers and other organizations, which means other IACs, creating institutions innovation portal, organizing mega events like hackathon, idea competition, and mini challenges for all participants across India. So in this context, uh, uh, our third quarter meetings, we have uh, gone for these three, uh, these five activities, the spring festival, which was done which was intra-institutional business competition was done in March, 2023. Uh, the today's event is a celebration of World's Creativity and Innovation Day. We also have next week planned an activity which is an intellectual property right. And then there will be field visit for our students so that they can pick up know about the various aspects. And the last days we'll also be celebrating the presence, India's presence of G20. With this, I can my uh, awareness of IAC and request from Madam to take forward the proceedings of the seminar. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for giving a comprehensive knowledge about the concept of Institutions Innovation Council so well. Thank you, sir. Today, April 21 is the World Creativity Day. And the logic for the webinar on this day is to highlight the importance of creativity and innovation in today's world. Creativity is actually the thinking out of the box and to come up with the new ideas where innovation is the process of implementing those ideas in our daily routine or the practical solutions of any problems. So in today's competitive world, creativity and innovation both are so critical for the success of every business or organization. Because those who can innovate and think creatively are more likely to succeed in rapidly changing environments. So in today's webinar, there will be insights on the importance of creativity and innovation and how both individuals and organizations can use it to foster their growth. This webinar on Creativity and Innovation Day aims to educate 
about how we can develop and enhance our creativity and innovation thinking skills. Our esteemed resource persons have came with a different background and they will be discussing on how creativity and innovation can help us to navigate this ever-changing landscape. And they will be sharing their experience on how they have fostered the creativity and innovation in their organization. So now, without any further ado, I'm going to introduce you all our first speaker of the day, who is going to speak on the need and importance of creativity and innovations in academics. Our esteemed resource person, Dr. Mary Rajamani, as a principal and associate professor at David Memorial Institute of Management, Hyderabad, Dr. Mary has done her master's in management from Osmania University and possesses doctorate degree in management. She has more than 15 years of experience of teaching and training in education domain. Ma'am has worked with various organizations like Priya Darshini College of Computer Science and Research, Matric Consultancy, Stanley Junior College, and has contributed significantly to the field of education. Content development, policy formulation, designing the course curriculum, evaluation and assessment are her key strengths. She has to her credit many research papers published and conferences attended and organized. She is always motivated to adopt innovative methods in teaching for conducting her lectures. Ma'am, we are really, really grateful to have you here with us today. Now I request you to kindly take over and enlighten us with your knowledge. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Sir, Principal Sir, and all the dignitaries who are present in this meeting, on all the staff members and students, I welcome a warm welcome to everybody. Here, I am here to share my knowledge and my experience in academics. I've been uh, more than twenty years in experience in various level of academics and a little bit of experience in industry too. So, during my past journey of in education, so many years, I've been. Uh, organize many creativity innovation activity for the students so that they can build that innovative skills will come out and they will be settled down when they go to industry because we find normally a gap between the theories what they have learned through their books and knowledge and when they practically go and settle in their career so this kind of innovative and creative ideas how this gives them platform an opportunity for the students so that they can build or motivate the innovative skills. Here yeah, I would like to present uh, my presentation on creativity and innovation in academics. I would like to share my uh, screen. Uh, is the screen is visible, Ramandi? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It is visible. Is visible? Yes, ma'am. It is visible. Thank you. Ma'am, you can start slideshow. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing. Right. Uh, 
there is some technical problem that is catching you too late. No issue, ma'am. You yeah. can continue. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, here I would like to present my uh, slides uh, on creativity and innovation. Before I do the creativity, we talk about creativity and innovation. Maybe everybody might have heard about what is creativity and what is innovation. Here, I would like to say that what is the importance of this creativity and innovation in teaching and academics? Creativity and innovation are very important driving forces for personal development as well as for the economic growth and social advancement. And especially when we are in the new millennium, where the things are changing rapidly and and changing rapidly and new development new technology are coming into force and they are accelerating many changes in the to our dialect and it is not only bringing changes in academic but it also in uh, in the workplace where we people are going to join so this all these innovations are very important and then important has been explored when we have faced some uh, natural and man-made disasters. Can you give an example of recently we have been faced with the COVID-19 that has been stagnant the life of the people with the, our routine work. So that kind of situations made us to think that the importance of creativity and innovation, how to overcome with that particular problem when you are being face facing. So let's talk me about what is a creativity. A creativity is nothing but it's a mental process, a social process, what we talk about, where we generate new ideas, new concepts, and an association of these concepts and ideas, and where we come up with a new solution for the existing problem. We talk about innovation, a creativity is nothing but the ability of the person who can generate new ideas to give an exact solution to the existing problem. That is, he has to think something new to give a solution for the uh, which is suitable to the current environment. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, ma'am. Ma'am, your slides are not moving. Uh, we are on the first slide. Yeah, I'm going. Is it now? Is it here? Uh, no, ma'am. Now, second slide. No, ma'am. We are still on the first slide. Uh, here it is moving, ma'am. Can you please check from your side, from my end, it's moving. From my end, it's moving. Uh, ma'am, I think you have not shared your screen. Entire screen. You have not shared your entire screen. Uh, so, let me check. Once. Let me check. I think, ma'am, you need to share the uh, start with the presentation. Slideshow. Go to the slideshow option. Yes, ma'am. I have done that, but it's not accepted. No, right now uh, it's right not now, the slideshow. We need to go on the top option, side. top menu, slideshow. Yeah. F five. Go with the F five. Yeah. Screen. Can you, you now? You can see. Yes, yeah, your screen is visible. Yes. The, uh, the slide is creativity. Yes. Okay. Now, can you see the slides? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry for the interruption and sorry for the inconvenience. So, let me talk about what is interruption, what is uh, uh, creativity and innovation. When I'm talking about creativity and innovation, why we need to think about creativity and innovation in our day to day life? We know that both are very important driving growth and social advancement also. When we are, especially we know that we are in a new millennium when the people are facing very drastic changes in our day-to-day -day life and fast developments are taking place in terms of technology and we are facing acceleration of changes in our personal life as well as in work workplace where we are working. So, and not only that, uh, a natural and man-made disasters are taking place, unexpected events are happening in our day to day life, then we have realized the importance of this creativity, innovation in every field. Let's, let me talk about what is uh, in, uh, creativity. 
now creativity is a mental and social process which is involved of generation of new thoughts new ideas which give a, a particular solution or exact solution to the existing problem it we talk about it's nothing but the ability of a, a person who can discover new ideas new thoughts new concept for a given problem a given solution then uh, then what is innovation innovation it is nothing but the ideas which has been created the creativity which has developed new ideas new thought that makes into practicality with some innovation some creativity so innovation contains the ideas of output of actually which has been producing or doing something which is differently which has not been done earlier so it's making something happen or implementing something new so innovation is a process of creating the value which has been which can be applied Uh, to a problem solving methods now let's talk about how this creativity and innovations are relevant and how they turn creative ideas will turn into innovation now when we talk about the creativity it's nothing but your ideas which can be generated and the imagination um, ima Imagination has been done or given or uh, developed for a particular problem. The thoughts which has been developed for a particular problem and the expression of that ideas, that thoughts and the concept for a particular given problem and solving the problem with some addition and brainstorming method. This all will be considered as a creative process. Then this creative process has to be turned into innovative. So the innovation is nothing but the process of value. of invention and doing some actions and Im implementing of these actions and enabling them into a useful changes which give a new product which is measurable and which will be an exact solution to the problem now let's talk about creativity is not why this understand we can say that a creativity is not ability to produce a unique idea or where innovation is that innovation the ideas which has been generated can be implemented and that creativity which has been given to a particular problem can be introduced with new concepts new ideas or some new solution and in a new business model so creativity is nothing but a, it's a driving force behind some innovations and which can be incorporated into a things in a different perspective which are free from restrictions and status quo so creativity is a integral part of idea generation which will discharge a thought and a knowledge so innovation is a learning habit of an individual which requires skills as well as a specific understanding of the context that which means that creativity has to be applied along with some innovative ideas let me talk about how this creative ideas will turn into innovation when any problem comes or any unexpected man made disasters so a problem arises that problem gives an idea an opportunity to think about or design some new idea so a creativity when develop what develop with the question what if then it has to that what if a question which has been generated in your human mind it will divide design into some imaginative thoughts and ideas and solutions why how and these questions giving an answers of these questions and accepting the current situation understanding the current situation and accepting the challenges of the current situation will gives a uh, new opportunities and evaluate new opportunities but and explore the new opportunities for these ideas then that creativity that idea will be turning into an innovation let me talk about okay might be everybody might be understand what exactly the creativity and innovation then what the creativity and innovation in academics so a creativity and a innovation have its important in every field today here i'd like to share my knowledge on uh, in creativity innovation how, what role they play in academics as we know that there are good uh, educational cultural social economic reasons why higher education nowadays is concentrating more on creative development of the student as we belongs to the new age of knowledge where innovations has been in the education sector and in other sectors like uh, economy is also given a tremendous pressure which to align entire strategic framework has to be modified with some creative and innovative 
uh, uh, thinkings and ideas in the education sector. So the importance of fostering the student to creative in higher education has been widely recognized due to the needs and preparing young people for the uncertain and complex world. We can give a best example what we have been recently faced COVID-19. All the education sector has become stagnant uh, of a couple of few months not uh, having a physical interaction with one another. That kind of situation has given that time the creativity and innovation has been a helping hand to overcome with these problems and to come up with a new solution for the existing problem. So the uh, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, the presentation has stopped once again. Oh, it's so the uh, problem. I think, Mama, here it's yeah. Can you yeah? Is it now okay? Uh, we are. Uh, it is. Uh, we are on the seventh uh, slide. Yeah. Uh, the future of education. Is no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Ma'am, you can press F five, and then the slideshow will go on. Yeah, but it's, okay, it's going. Uh, no, not yet, ma'am. Sure. Ma'am, you can share the uh, presentation. You can stop the uh, stop share and then once again share the presentation. <clears throat> yeah. Shall I stop presentation? You will be doing. No, oh, ma'am. You can reshare the once again. Okay, I'll stop and reshare it. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, is it visible? Yes, ma'am. It's visible now. It's fine now. Need and need of creativity and innovation in academics. Yeah. Yeah. Uh Sorry for the inconvenience. I think the uh, technical problems are a lot, uh, which is distracting the slideshows. Uh, is it visible now? Can I continue, Carl? Uh, yes, ma'am. It's perfect now. Yeah. Now, we are, uh, see, we are talking about the importance of creativity and innovation in academies. As we are in the future, uh, education is an era of openness and flexibility in curriculum in which students are given a space of self-learning through technology and innovation. Not only that, Education, new education policy is currently focusing mainly on three aspects like competency based education, outcome based education, and value based education. This policy is emphasizing on the most important aspects like innovation and creativity, which are the ability of the student to increase the ability of the student to come up, uh, whoever comes to the university and colleges. So, the creativity and innovation have become very important in, educa in education. So it is the responsibility of the, all the learned teachers to translate and transform the much theoretical knowledge into the minds of the students through the practical exposure. Now let's know about what is the need of creativity and innovation. Innovation and uh, creativity allow the student to better understanding of the concepts. Nowadays, every student want to, the things which you have been practically seen will be remembered better than the, what you have been studying. So innovativity, innovativity plays a very important role in understanding the concept and remembering the concept and better explore of the concept. Yeah, Anil, uh, you have any doubts? Can I continue, Anil? By utilizing this creativity and experimental... You can continue. Method, yeah, by utilizing a creative experimental method of teaching, which will enable the student to develop their thinking ability and explore the varied interest in area because every student have a different talents and different creative skills. So this gives an opportunity to them to explore the, uh, that varied talents. So adoptability of this innovativeness in a teaching will enable the student to enter in their area of interest and help them to succeed in the academy because everybody is not good at the same aspect. So everybody, they have their own inner talent. So this creativity and innovative, through the method of creative and innovative learning uh, method, they can that talents can be explored. 
so it compels the student to use high level of thinking so solve problem solving techniques and the ability of the students will be uh, explored and they get a platform where their talents can be explored innovation involves new way of thinking where it will help the student to develop their creative ideas they can come up with a develop new ideas new thoughts new way of applications so this ability will be developed when the students have been adopted to new methods of teaching and it will also encourage the student to uh, walk toward their research and they can carry out the in their research independently once they get the confident of that they are being uh, capable of doing something new or creative something new so what is the importance of creativity and innovation in academics uh, first, especially when we talk about the academics, they need to have a vast knowledge of uh, theoretical knowledge and that which they have to be explored when they go to the workplace. So it is a platform through the innovative and in the, uh, teach creative methods, it will improve the ability and emotional development among the students. It also reduces the stress and anxiety among the students, whoever is pursuing their course. And it makes the learning process very flexible and practical. And not only that, it enables the students to express their views, their ideas, their thoughts toward a particular concept or solution. Not also boost the problem solving skills among the students and develop a self confidence among the students. Whenever the students are being given an opportunity to act, learn through the creative or innovative ideas, they will become a self-confident and then they will become self-centered, which can be transformed in a potential input to the global workplace. And it also give, develop a good communication skills among the pro, uh, students and they also become a good problem solving uh, uh, ability. So which gives a confident level, the confident level will be increased. What is the scope of this creativity and innovation in academics? Innovation in edu uh, education will encourage the students to teach uh, teachers to explore the research, to carry on the research, with, uh, and uh, they also give some innovative ideas and methods, and they can adopt these methods in their uh, teaching and learning and their classes, which will become a major tool for the uncover un un the something new which has been not done earlier. Innovation will involves a different ways of looking the problem the same problem can be looked into a different ways so that ability of looking forward a problem in a different manner will be uh, generated among the student are uh, inculcated among the students with the innovative ideas it improves education because uh, compels the student to use a high level of thinking now let's talk about what factors are influencing this creativity and innovation one is learning experience motivation imagination intelligence flexibility and personality as we know that when our students come to the college with the expectation they just come to learn the things which is theoretically has been proven or recorded in the books so that learning and they gain some knowledge of that particular uh, subject that subject knowledge was they are being learned and they will be experiencing through their life they get motivated to, with to, with some concepts and through that concept, they create some imagination of their ideas, thoughts, through their intelligence and with the flexibility of their uh, mode of learning, they can develop some of their personality development and come up with a new ideas and new solution, which will be turning into an innovation. Uh, then what are the skills are mainly required when you anybody want to be a creative or in, uh, want to be an innovative? There are many skills. Let me put forward some of the few skills which are very important to be a, a creative, uh, innovative uh, personality. Major things is analytical, open-minded, and problem solving, organizing, and communication. When we talk about the analytical, it's an ability to analyze the things. Whenever you see any problem, we need to analyze and we need to center point what exactly the problem is. That is the main ability when you want to create something new. When you are succeeded in understanding the problem, what is the main uh, center point of that problem that gives you an idea to generate some solution? Then you have to be open-minded. That is thinking something new, which is nobody else might have thought. Everybody will have their own thinking. So you should be something different, generate some idea, which is not being ever thought by somebody else. Next, uh, the problem solving. 
it is an ability to solve or give a solution which is important for the important issue then you should also be a good organizer that is be able to structure make a proper planning of action and to be uh, clear with your goals and uh, reach your deadlines or destination that is that ability is organizing and they should be able next a skill is communication stronger written and over uh, oral skills and ability of listening to the problem understanding the problem and giving a right solution and expressing your views your ideas that is called communication so these are the major creative thinking skills which really really need to be a more creative and more innovative now there will be a major strategy which will be helping us to be a more uh, creative and more innovative one is brainstorming we should always give some puzzles or some work to our brain so that our brains can develop some new or the ideas always and we should make a mind map so we should plot how we note down some notes important notes in our running class in that way whatever the ideas which has been generated in your mind you need to mind map them and make a proper planning how you can interrelate that problems so that you will get a proper solution to the uh, problem and then reframe your thinking ability you should think something is different which has not been thought by you uh, earlier so you always have to change your way of uh, thinking and so that it will reframe and give you a new idea generation a new thought which has not been given earlier and uh, next uh, strategy is role play that is you need to talk about put forward yourself and allows to generate matlab when you are uh, involving in any problem and knowing the problem try to understand your problem you are personally involving and trying to find out some solution that automatically create some uh, innovative ideas among you and you need to always reconceptualize the problem you need to think the problem same problem again and again in a different manner so when you think reconceptualize your problem that give you another idea another way for a solution and then daydreaming sometimes the daydreaming will also give you an opportunity to think something is different in uh, normally in our day to day life we always daydream you want to become something you become uh, achieve some targets and all that when you having some aiming and dreaming that dreaming will give you an idea how to reach your uh, uh, that dreams how to reach your goals and how you can make a plan so, so that is daydreaming is also part of your innovative strategy then explore the different creative theories don't instead of uh, following the same old regime theories try to always think something different something new so that it will give you a new opportunities or new idea or new solution to the existing problem and always be curious and investigative is also a very important factor you should always the curiousness among your people you will like to know what exactly happened what is the problem how it has been what are the other solution that generation of innovative and inter- investigative uh, uh personality for particular person will like they like to know more about that theory more of that uh, about the practicality that give you more knowledge about the problem when you are being gain more pro- knowledge about a problem then it will automatically give you a new idea for you to so that you come up with a new picture of the world then determine your best mood so always every time is not the right time for giving a new ideas so you have to determine what would be a uh, right time for you to think something different what uh, uh, sometime uh, some people they would like to listen music to get refreshed sometimes they would like to be set aside and sometimes some people want to do yoga and they want to get that so you have to determine that when prepare your mind so that your mind get an opportunity to think something different and away from the noise always whenever you want to make some new ideas new thought see that your brain has to get some uh, noise free so that it can work on creating something think about something new and then you have to just start start your ideas which has been generated let's talk about creative thinking in academics as we all know that we join a college because this a college is a great platform for enhancing the creative skills and few important things i'd like to put forward how the academics plays a major platform for creativity 
it will design a sample. First, you have to design sample questionnaire to test your subject knowledge because the person who's having a vast knowledge can be a more successful creative and innovator. So it is very important for you. We need to test ourselves, your test, your subject knowledge so that how much you're capable of generating new ideas and propose an educational plan. Always uh, plan something new for your academics, for your other activities or whatever. And always participate in debates, elocution, because college give you many platform where you get a lot of opportunities where you can uh, give, give some uh, brainstorming ideas, some work to your brain, and you have to plan, uh, actively participate in this and put forward or uh, express your views, your ideas, and design, plan, and organize academic as well as non-academic event where your talents will be explored and actively participating in all kinds of events will increase your confidence level and it also comes to, to know uh, expose some problems which has been uh, facing during uh, when you're organizing the things so you'll get an uh, expertise knowledge when you're actively uh, into practical exposure and not only that you'd like to you should have some industrial exposure where you will you will find the difference in theoretical knowledge and uh, practical exposure and all just try to participate in brainstorming sessions like quiz puzzles games so that your logical ability will increase and try to always participate in group sessions so that your leadership and management skills will be actively actively participate but that can be increased by participating in all the activities and nowadays college is having a lot of clubs many clubs so if you are being a part of the club you'll get an exposure with other people and you also get an opportunity to get to know with one another and a lot of things to learn so that also a big platform for you to come up with the new ideas and thoughts and participate in group seminars gds placement trainings where you will come to know what exactly the uh, uh, current scenario of the market and how the what are the companies are expecting in you and what else you can do for the companies or well in your workplace and uh, always try to participate in personality development and skills development classes where the training will be done according to the current scenario current requirement of the industry and increase your learning skills so that your development of your knowledge in particular area of your expertise will be inculcated and it will increase your thinking skills in that particular uh, area and always try to put yourself in a nerve racking situation because when a person has been in problem then your you started thinking about how to come up with that problem so when you put yourself in a nerve wracking situation then you are fire your brain will be fire and that fear you will come up with the fear and frustration because normally we observe that a fear and frustration always trigger our innovative thinking so when you are habituated to face such kind of problem then you are in you your brain started working something even in that circumstances your brain started working to get some solution and generate ideas and possibilities uh, even interest for exploring just try to find out the opportunities where you can put forward your knowledge and where you put forward your new ideas and be always innovative generate new ideas and thoughts for solving solving any kind of problems and try to boost your brain by regular exercises and innovating thinking skills uh, based on my experience i'd like to share a few of the things why the creativity and innovations are very plays a very important role in academics when students are focused on creative goals they become more absorbed in their learning and they're also more driven and they acquire the skills they need to accomplish what they want. And creativity will represent a balance between the knowledge and freeing from one another. And it also makes the things to learn more easier. And it also able to develop and apply this, what of the skills has been required in that particular scenario. Creativity is a crucial thinking skills which create educational innovations and novel and valuable useful decisions in education. So you always try to develop a creative and innovative uh, way of adopting of learning teaching, learning methods. So it is a responsibility for all the learned teachers to facilitate uh, the students with a 
uh, innovative and creative method of teaching so that they will explore the talent, they'll get an opportunity to explore the talent, they'll get an opportunity to learn the new things so that their talents can be explored with the confidence and the learning skills. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for elucidating the concept of creativity and innovation in academics so well. You have very well elaborated the scope of creativity and innovation in academics, and I'm sure that the strategies you have shared for the creativity and innovation will surely going to help our participants. With your comprehensive knowledge and vast experience, there are so many takeaways from your ex expert talk. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I would like to say uh, thank you to the, all the management and you know, for giving me the opportunity to share my knowledge and my experience. And uh, if any doubts by the students, they can clarify me. They can take me on this so that I can answer. Thank you so much uh, uh, accepting uh, all the, whatever the problems have been faced during this technical issues. Thank you so much. Not at all, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Now, moving forward, ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce you all our next speaker for the day, who is going to speak on modern innovation, sources, and future scope. Our esteemed resource person, Dr. Martin Dina Karan, founder of Jehovah Nisi, head of communications, IFET College of Engineering, Tamil Nadu. Dr. Martin has done his master's in electronics and communication engineering and possesses doctorate degree in instrumentation and control engineering. He possesses more than 14 years of corporate experience and 13 years of bilingual translation and interpretation in live conferences and meets in India. Dr. Martin has to his credit self-published book on skills, skills, enlightening the path of life. He is a certified TOEFL trainer and an international certified career coach and chief guest in many professional and social occasions. Sir, we are really grateful to have you here with us today. Now, I request you to kindly take over and enlighten us with your knowledge. Over to you, sir. Sir, you're not audible. Uh, so you are not audible. Am I audible now, ma'am? Yes, sir, you are. Okay, okay ma'am. Okay. Uh, good afternoon to good afternoon to every uh, dignitaries of uh, GGNIM College, uh, Ludhiana, Punjab. And now I'll share my screen.
I hope the screen is visible, ma'am. Kindly give a comment. Yes, sir. It's visible. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to speak uh, for today is innovation, modern innovation, and, and the scope of innovation in this modern era of the 21st century. So I am uh, Rad Martin Dinagaran, and uh, ma'am has given the introduction. So let's move on to the slide. So innovation. I hope the slides are changing, ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay. We are changing, but you can. So uh, innovation. What do you mean by uh, what do you mean by innovation? Just. Um, so you can start slide show. Just a minute, ma'am. Right, sir. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> innovation. So what do you mean by innovation? Innovation, uh, when invention, uh, uh, the other stage of invention is called as innovation. For example, you can take that uh, in the Stone Age, uh, when man, he was walking, he does not have any means of transportation. And then came uh, the idea of a transportation. Okay, of moving by wheels, a vehicle that moves by wheels. And uh, we can uh, know that it is the bullock cart and it was the horse cart. And also it was pulled by different kinds of animals. So that is called as invention. Okay, and uh, invention, the other form of invention is innovation. For example, now we have different kinds of cars, different kinds of modes of transportation. So as we know that now, uh, this is the era of the electrical technology, the EV cars. Okay, so this is called as innovation. So invention leads to innovation and it is a new idea or a method. And we can also call that as a novelty. Uh, that means a, a different concept, a different concept of uh, the innovation. And that is what is being said that introduction of something new to the society, something new to the world that we live in. Uh, we can uh, analyze like uh, how the world has moved from the stone age till the modern technological era. So uh, we can see that once upon a time, it was a foolish thing. Okay, it was a foolish thing of delivering the foods to our doorsteps. Okay, now we have the concept we have the ideology of Zomato and Swiggy. So that is an innovation. A man, he sits uh, in his apartment or in his house and uh, he just uh, notes uh, all the delivery of his customers, his clients. So that is called as innovation. So this is the difference between invention and innovation. So always there must be an invention and then it will lead to an innovation. So innovation will be of the same field, the same criteria. And in a business context, we can see that innovation is the ability to uh, conceive, develop, and deliver. Uh, for example, everybody now will be having our uh, credit cards and debit cards. It was an innovation of some other business student. And now the latest innovation in the banking sector is virtual banking, where you can sit at the comfort of your home and you can shop at any part of the world by the virtual debit card or the virtual credit card that is available. And that type of services uh, provided by the banking sectors is what we call as innovation in the business fields. And uh, uh, this is a new model for the customers, the clients. We are the clients to the uh, banking sector. We are the clients to the business sectors. So what is what leads to innovation? We can see in the next slide what leads to innovation. So I hope the slides are changing. So uh, there are two things for the innovation to be born. First is idea and creativity. Okay. Firstly, you must have an idea. You must adapt the idea according to the need of the people, according to the need of the uh, people in the society. And it must be useful for their life. And uh, uh, like, as I have said, the Zomato and the Swiggy concept, it was an idea that was useful for the people of any age 
any culture around the world. And you can see that their, uh, their turnover for a day is many crores. So this is the idea and that has conceived into the creativity. The creativity is that they have developed an app from where uh, they can, uh, the clients, they can order the food and they can uh, get the food in a stipulated time as given by the Zomato and the Swiggy app. So this is what is called as idea that leads to creativity. And also we can see a new concept of uh, Ola and Rapido bikes, okay, Ola cars. So you can see that at the comfort of your home, you can just log on to the Ola app and you can see the movement of the car in your streets coming. So this, is, uh, this was the idea that was conceived in the mind of the Ola owner. And creativity is the app. So uh, these are the two things that is very uh, needful for innovation. Now coming to the skills of modern innovation. So these are uh, the innovation skills. And normally there are six. Okay. So the first is, as I have said, creativity. So creativity is very, very important. They there must be a creative concept, a creative knowledge regarding what you're going to uh, give it to the world, give it to the society, give it to the outer environment. Okay. And uh, the collaboration, the collaboration with the technology or the collaboration with the different kinds of uh, people uh, living in the world. And the second, third thing is that you need to have the confidence. So always uh, self-confidence is very, very important for a person. Okay. And the creativity, what you have done, okay, what you have created must give the confidence to others, uh, to the people, to the clients, those who are using your creativity or your ideas or your innovation. And it has to be uh, a continual improvement a continual improvement uh, throughout all ages. Okay. For example, uh, I know a grand uh, uh, a grandparent, those who log into the Zomato and Swiggy app, they, and they order the food. So that is a continual improvement of the different kinds of people living in the society. And it must empower. The next step is empowerment. Uh, the empowerment, it must empower all ages of people. Okay, uh, like empowering the society, empowering the employees working uh, in different kinds of uh, institutions and organizations. And the final thing is execution. Execution is uh, none other than the execution or the success of your creation or your innovation. And uh, all the six steps are the skills of the modern innovation. Now, let us look to the innovation process. So the innovation process as the first ball, the market need, what is the need of the market? Okay, what actually the market needs? And there are different kinds of market, the people market, the management market. Okay, and both these kinds of market can be classified into many things. Okay, and before innovation, there must be a topic upon in which sector or which field you're going to just work upon. So uh, that is going to be the topic and uh, the idea of the topic that you're going to conceive into uh, innovation. And there will be a lot number of ideas. So you must select the apt or the correct idea. And uh, the selection of the idea is very, very important. Often the selection, uh, the selection of the idea uh, it must not lead into a failure state. It must always lead to success. And the selection of the idea, if sometimes it leads to failure, but we must be in a position to make that failure into a successful model. And how to make that? That is the concept. That is the concept of the selection of the idea. And second uh, thing of the concept is that there will be risk in any innovation. Every innovation have risks. See, you can see Thomas Alva Edison in his thousand one attempt only, he has invented the electric bulbs. So thousand attempt was a failure to him. So uh, he faced nearly thousand risks, but the thousand one, it was not a risk, but it was a successful model. 
and that is what the implementation the last step is the implementation implementation is like uh, he has introduced electrical bulbs and now we have the led bulbs we have the energy saving bulbs different kinds of bulbs that is the implementation of the modern scenario and next a uh, thing is that these are all the things that is required for the innovation the leadership skills the intelligence the strategy the business concentration creativity aspirations education skill okay forward financial marketing these are all the things very very mandate for the innovation if you have all those things then only your innovation will reach the pinnacle of success nextly um, so we have seen the process of innovation the skills of innovation and the two things that was required for innovation the idea and the creativity nextly we can see some of the modern innovations that i have included that i want to show it so these are the energy producing roads in the foreign countries the energy producing roads a man he is holding a layer of the energy producing roads <clears throat> so these roads it works as solar panels it works as solar panels and produces electricity for street lights okay normally uh, this has two purpose it works as solar panels and produces electricity for street lights households and even the cars driving on them so normally uh, electric cars are very much famous in the foreign countries so this uh, has a dual purpose and you can see that uh, the top layer of the road when the sunlight falls upon it and uh, based upon the weightage of the vehicle there is no damage and it is very much strong to uh, bear even the load of tons of the huge trucks uh, and lorries and this they are termed as solar road kit and they have built uh, approximately of the 10 to the power meter square which pro uh, provides electricity to cover the entire year electricity for an average household so uh, this is a very good innovation concept and it is uh, it was developed in a country called norway and normally many countries sweden okay they have all developed this energy producing roads so the next innovation that i want to show to you is 1 dollar microscope so here you can see the picture here you can see the picture that uh, it is a paper made microscope and it just cost 1 dollar according to our indian currency it is just uh, roughly of uh, 75 to 80 rupees so uh, how is this contract construction okay it is a foldable microscope and it is inspired by the origami origami would have uh, seen the uh, the papers the tissue papers that we are using and even the papers that is required for uh, framing or, the, or drafting the document is produced by the origami a very good quality of paper and this kind of microscope it cost only 1 us dollar and it fits easily in a pocket you can fold it like a piece of paper and you can have it whenever you want to uh, visualize any blood cells any bacteria any algae or any different kinds of things you can open it and you can uh, see it and this is a very resource uh, full for the institutions for the scientists those who are in, the, in, in an open field in an open field where they are making the research so uh, this is a 1 dollar microscope nextly uh, solar rechargeable hearing aids so these are recharged by the sun light by the solar light when a man he is wearing it if he is walking driving the bike or wherever he is going whatever his movement of the body the solar rechargeable hearing aids it recharges it recharges and uh, there is no need that a man he must unplug it and he must recharge it in the during the night time as the modern technology what they are doing it and the working is that even millions of people they are in need of the hearing aid and only 3% of the people they are on having the affordability to buy a hearing aid so this is very affordable and this has no recharging issues it has a inbuilt battery it is highly resistant highly flexible 
and uh, highly durable. Okay, it is not easily breakable. It is so much flexible. Okay, and uh, this is called as by those people as a solar ear, and the user they are being called as solar ears users. So uh, this company, what is the speciality of this company is that they hire the people those who are deaf, and they are the people who assemble the solar ear products. So uh, uh, this is uh, the innovation. Next. Uh, innovation is analyzing the food quality with images. So this is a, a, a new innovation. So normally we will uh, check the quality of the food by tasting, but we cannot analyze through the images. So here you can see that the quality of the food is analyzed by a scanning process. So how it works? Okay. So it has a special software that is uh, mix it with the digital imagining. Okay, it is a chemical technique called a spectroscopy, and it uses a picture to detect and to amplify whether the food is of high quality or low quality. And what is the freshness of the food? What is the moisture content of the food? Is there any bacterial content, any algae content that uh, will affect the body of man? It will detect everything in, in, in a whole sense. And there are also the sensors employed. Okay, which takes the images and uh, also this kind of uh, food uh, quality imaging machines, it is affordable and also of pocket sized. You can keep it in a pocket and you can take it wherever you go to the hotels or to the motels, wherever you go, you can check the quality of the food. Okay, and this will also be a proof of evidence uh, in the nearby uh, scenario. Okay. And uh, this is called as impact vision, impact vision. And the final innovation that I want to show to you is the low cost harvest storage. So normally uh, agriculture is one of the most important occupation of all the people, the majority of the people in the world. So storing the grains is very, very important. And uh, Storing for years is very important. As we say that when rice becomes old, it is very much tastier. Okay, when it is fresh, it is not tastier to that extent. So they have introduced a bag for storing the grains. Okay, every year you can see that in Africa, 30% uh, of the maize harvest is infected or is eaten by the insect or the pests due to the poor storage techniques. Okay, and also in India, I've given the statistics of Africa, but India also, it gets destroyed due to the rainfall, due to the pests. And uh, uh, though many insecticides and pesticides they are using, but still these insects, they eat where there are large granaries or large amount of storage of the grains and the rice, the wheat or the paddy, different kinds of agriculture items. So this PIX bag, it is called a PIX bag. It is a triple layer, a three layered bag, a plastic bag that is very much effective. It is a very much uh, solution uh, effective for the storage of different types of grains. Okay, and it is low cost. It is chemical free, no usage of chemicals, simple to use just like a normal polythene bag. And uh, this has transformed millions of the small farmers. Okay across the African continent. So these are the different types of the innovation. So next coming uh, to the, uh, uh, like uh, the problems of innovation. The problems of the innovation is our limitability. We, we are comfortable in whatever we have. We don't think beyond the box. So I just want to encourage all the students, those who are in this webinar, that think different, think big, and think outside the box. If there is a new concept, what can be the extendability or what can be the producibility from that invention? For example, uh, now we have the, uh, the touch phone, the smartphone in our hands, but do you know the latest technology, the, uh, the US people, the Americans, they are using, they are using by the wave of the hand without touching the phone. So that is uh, the invention of the smartphone to the waving of the smartphone. They don't even touch it, okay? So this is what is called as uh, the issue. The issue is 
with us we don't think so we should extend our limitability uh, we should extend our uh, credibility of thinking okay we must think always different and we must always think what is benefited to the society and to the world and these are the things that uh, the modern era students or the modern era people they are facing and still many uh, due to their extra outside the box thinking there are many innovation that is coming to us i have written a lot but i have just delivered a small uh, thing since the time was limited and uh, i just want all the students uh, to think outside the box to innovate something and also if you are inventing a new concept a new thing a new methodology uh, it will be a great uh, source of information and a great source of help to others uh, with this i am concluding my talk my speech thank you all the students of gg and i mt thank you thank you so much sir for amplifying the concept of innovation you have very well elaborated the process of innovation right from starting with the need of the market then developing the idea according to the need and then checking the risk factor and implementing the idea we are thankful to you for sharing your knowledge about the modern innovations thank you sir thank you so much for joining us today thank you ma'am thank you ramandeep ma'am you're welcome sir now we are almost toward the end of the session so i request dr pavinder singh principal gg and imt to kindly pose a vote of thanks over to you sir Uh, am i audible and visible ma'am yes sir you are yeah uh, so it's a good fortune that we had uh, two uh, very esteemed uh, resource persons from the southern of india and uh, both of them have delivered great value i believe uh, to this webinar and uh, uh, before i express my gratitude to everyone i would like to offer a few comments on the session so uh i am grateful that dr mary uh, mary rajamani touched the academic part of the uh, you know creativity innovation and she helped us understand the subtle differences between different terms which are there uh, her presentation was also around telling us how can we uh, you know how we, how can we assure creativity and innovation uh, to benefit all the stakeholders in higher education be it teachers be it managements uh with students so that was something which was uh, very very good and interesting and she also helped us understand the factors that influence creativity and innovation and also the cre creative uh, creativity or thinking strategies which can actually lead to solutions uh i'm also grateful to uh, professor uh, dr martin dinakaran uh, as i would say he is a very versatile personality he covers the entire gamut communication skills uh, then innovation strategy so he's covering all that and i'm very sure his classes would be very interesting and uh, sir if you uh, have your classes on zoom you can enroll me as a student because there were many things that you shared which were very very interesting which are very practical to which people can relate to and uh, especially the things that i liked was uh, when you talked about uh, what we understand as jugaad in india Uh, especially the north which is and we call it frugal innovation as far as the west goes so which was things which whereby you were able to explain to us that how cost can be rationalized and solutions can be delivered uh, which are low cost but can make a profound impact on the lives and livelihoods of societies so this i believe is a very big challenge uh, especially for the world uh, which is developing or underdeveloped or over populated so those things were very nice the microscope example or the solar panel example or the uh, bag example which i am very sure for a state like punjab could be a boon because uh, we lose much more the farmers and we lose much more in terms of storage of uh, grain as compared to uh, you know whatever uh, problems we have due to a drought or uh, due to floods so i am very sure all these things would be making a lot of sense to your students and would also be encouraging them to uh, think about uh, innovation think about ideation think about creativity 
and develop solutions to society. Uh, I would also, uh, you know, uh, request our uh, valued resource persons to apply their mind or rather uh, usher in a movement uh, because of the latest, uh, you know, development that has come and uh, it is concerning India, which is day before we got to know that now we are the most populated country of the world. So, you know, at least we have beaten China on that. We are very proud of that. And uh, with one third of the resources and with one third of the team. And to me, it's a big challenge because, uh, you know, in a world where jobs are being lost at a pace which is faster than the job rate at which they are created. And where the entire, uh, you know, humanity, especially in the innovation part, to be it machine learning, to artificial intelligence or other technologies, which are obviously path-breaking, but they are, uh, you know, uh, being introduced at a cost to what happens to the human employment or to the uh, human well-being. So perhaps I would uh, request both our speakers to apply their mind and also, uh, you know, encourage their students to think about these things. And that was the reason why when uh, Dr. Dinakaran was talking about all the Jogad innovations, I was very, very interested. So I hope, uh, and the others also, all the valued people who are audience to this webinar would be, uh, you know, would, would and we should apply our minds uh, on a very, very serious note as far as this thing goes. And any innovation that we bring in, uh, our focus should always be this, that can the rate of innovation uh, outstrip the rate of displacement of human jobs? So what I'm trying to say is that if, uh, you know, we have a technology and it is substituting humans, uh, 50 humans work, so can that technology also create work for those 50 people and further also for many more people because in the world that we are getting in with maybe better quality of life, better medical care, longer lifespans, uh, all these issues uh, would become center, center stage. So I would uh, request all the academic fraternity to think about it. And now to the gratitude bit. Uh, I'm very grateful to our management, uh, our educational council, our trust, which is Kujramala Khalsa Educational Council, for encouraging us uh, to use the Zoom platform and the web learning uh, throughout, whether be it COVID times or non-COVID times, they've always been encouraging us to, uh, you know, uh, keep on or maintain with this form of learning and teaching. So I'm grateful to them for making it possible, especially our president, uh, uh, Dr. S.P. Singh Ji, former Vice Chancellor, Gunadev University. I am also grateful to our director, sir, uh, Professor Manjit Singh Shabla, for encouraging us to keep on thinking about new ways of bringing value to these students. So uh, be it value delivery by skill development, be it value delivery by getting an opportunity to learn from our valued resource persons all the way from South. So whichever way he has always been encouraging us to come up with ideas and offer solutions. I'm also grateful to uh, our president of uh, IIC, which is uh, in, uh, our institution's innovation council for uh, managing these two webinars, uh, the one that we are having today and the other that we propose to have on 26th. We hope that all of you will be, uh, will be part of these, that webinar. I'm also grateful to uh, my colleague, Professor Ramandi, for uh, making it possible for interacting with our resource people and uh, getting them on board for us, I'm grateful to her. I'm also grateful to the technical team, to all our faculty members and our students. And last but not the least, our valued resource person, uh, Dr. Mary and uh, Dr. Dinakaran. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your words. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Our pleasure, ma'am. Our pleasure. Thank you, sir. So yeah. we are on the conclusion. We can say that innovation is about thinking different and taking new risk. It's all about willing to fail and learning from our mistakes. So today, let's embrace the spirit of creativity and innovation and of our comfort zones. Who knows that amazing things we can accomplish when we innovate. Once again, I thank all the dignitaries and participants 
and our valued resource persons. I hope that today's webinar has provided you with the valuable insights on creativity and innovation in today's world. So let's continue to foster the creativity and innovation in our personal and professional lives. Have a great day. I request before uh, switching on, uh, switching off, I request all of you to kindly switch on your camera so that we can have a screenshot of this webinar. Sure, ma'am. Thank you. I request all the participants to switch on your cameras. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. And stay tuned with us for your for our upcoming webinar in coming week. Thank you. Thank you so much. And you can end the meeting.